What's up guys, Big Z from On The Fringe Golf, out for another golf vlog. Today I'm at Northgate, nice little country club here in the north side of Houston. We've done a few videos here on the Fast Five. Um, I think this is my first time vlogging the actual course. We're gonna do an 18 hole course vlog, a little voiceover action. Hopefully you enjoy the content. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave us a comment. That being said, let's go do it. What a beautiful, Saturday morning this was. Beautiful sky, it was a little chilly, uh, but man, what a really nice sunset to wake up to on the first tee. So, I pulled the first tee shot a little bit left, um, but totally fine, it's par five here. It's very nice on this Northgate Country Club. You start off with a par five on both nines, so it gives you that extra stroke to mess up, um, or as we like to say, F up. So I just get this one back into play. Uh, third shot here, Unfortunately, it was a squibber. Um, no shot tracer because I skinned, scold the living daylights out of it. No shot tracer needed for that. Exactly. That's what I just said. Anyway, so walk down into the bunker here, assess my lie. Um, I've been playing a lot out of the bunker recently, um, which is something I need to figure out to how to prevent that. But I hit a good one to get out, which, of course, out of the bunker, that is your goal every time. Just get the ball out of the bunker onto the green and give yourself a shot. So looking over my par save putt here. Oh, just missed on the high side. And uh, go ahead and give myself that for my bogey. So this one is a little intimidating because there is a street right there on the right hand side that I was worried I was about to hit a car coming in. But luckily I stayed um, not that far right. Just off the cart path here. Um, and this one was great contact, just started a little right on me. Um, got a bad kick off the hill um, to the right side of the green here. Look at me run. Bet you didn't know I could run that fast. Definitely didn't have to speed that up, right? Well, here's actually a great shot, Wedge Wizard. You can see the flag is just left of that tree in front of me, so I had to play around it. We'll see. I can't see shit from back here. Yeah, exactly. So I got a good look for a par save. Um, not expecting to make it. But, let's go, baby. Nice. Woo! Wow. Hey guys, real quick reminder, we're going to Cancun in April, and I want you to be there with me. So, follow the link in the description down below. Um, it's starting as low as $1,400 for a player. That's four days, five nights in a gourmet inclusive resort two rounds of golf maybe even three depending on how fancy you want to get and you get to have a great time with on the fringe and the golf fanatics and the maverick golf crew so make sure you check it out get your name on the list because there are limited spots available yeah what are you waiting for go get your ticket now uh, i'm trying to distract you from this drive that i just hit um that somehow stayed in play Somehow, and here we are. Ball is nestled down. I'm trying to make sure I don't hit the the uh, the gate here with my backswing, and I actually made great contact. I had to do a bit of a slice cut swing with this, but uh, that's exactly how I felt. So I put myself here in a good position to try and give myself a par save putt. Great contact right at it, just a little short. And this is where I realized that the, the temperature. Boys on the fringe. Yeah. On the fringe, baby. That's when I realized that the temperature um, of this day is going to keep the ball from flying. Great putt from off the green. Uh, Texas Wedge Wizard, apparently. So I make in for my bogey. Now this one here, I set up the ace cam because I assumed this is going in the hole. There's a spine in the middle of the green, so my aim was to hit it right onto that spine and let it funnel down to the flag. And that's exactly what I did. Landed just past the bunker, funneled down, and I ended up with uh, right, this putt you can see. Yeah, right there. Lining up my birdie attempt, trying to get myself a little caca action, pumping myself up mentally. No way I'm going to miss this. No way. Oh. Oh, oh. Turns out that that green is not flat. And then I carried it onto the next hole, and I just... This one definitely hit a roof. I heard it hit a roof. So, those of you that have done that before, you know my pain. Leave me a comment below. Um, how does that make you feel when you hit somebody's roof? So, I hit a little laser shot up the middle. This one was much better, but that's my third shot. So, I'm already behind the ball on this hole, par four. 
This one's a blind shot. I can't see the green, but it's on a good line. I know it's on a good line, um, but I just don't know where it's going to land. Unfortunately, it was just on the fringe, short, um, so I had to try and hit the Texas wedge to get it up there, and uh, that hill said not today. So trying to make a double bogey with a long putt here. Get a good putt on it, and it looks good. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is a long par four, so I tried to give it a rip here um, with the driver. Unfortunately, I just I, I thinned the living piss out of it. That's what you want out of your driver. It's the gapper. Thankfully, I set myself up to hit the gapper here. So just get myself in a good position. Again, I'm just trying to fight to save par at this point because I've got a long way to the hole on this par four. So um, I wasn't going to be able to get to the green, so just put myself in about 100 yards out. Stay off that hill. And, of course, I caught that a little fat. That's just what I do. Everything in my life, just fat. Uh, so that's short. It's not good. And not good. Not good is correct. But I got this long putt. Maybe I can make this to uh, somehow save par. There it is. Oh! Let's go! How about that? So what I'm talking about, I was jazzed after that, came over here, and I just ripped a driver. So um, I was definitely feeling it at this point. Hit it right in the middle of the fairway. That is a hard, hard drive there with the water, um, the angle of the fairway. That's the number one handicap on the course, so I was very happy with that drive. This one here, that's a sucker pin because the pin, there's right there along the water, so I aimed to the left of it, hit it in a good spot. Problem is, again, just short of the green. So I had to maybe follow up with another long off the fringe, on the fringe putt. Get there, stretch. No, not going to get there. But uh, maybe I can make my par saving putt here. And then again, I'll take a par any day. Yep. In the heart. Nice. Moving on to the next. Value themselves. So this is a long par three into the wind today. Normally it's not that bad, but... I had to take gapper, it's cold, and unfortunately I didn't make great contact, so I ended up in this bunker short right of the flag. So here I am, walk, 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 walk. And there comes the ball, hit that down slope, and it just took off. I think if that ball would have went another two or three feet, it would have been perfect. It just got too aggressive of the slope, and it took off on me, so... Good news is I have a par putt that is going to look really good, but not drop. Nice putt. Thanks, Aaron. So the ninth hole on the um, front nine. Oh, I guess that's the ninth hole on the whole course, too, dummy. Par five. Closing par five. So this is a good opportunity um, for me to, to maybe get a stroke back here. So I hit the gapper as my second shot, lay up, give myself a good number, about 110. And um, I step up to this. Ah, uh, the classic tug, tug job. job. Yep, this one ends just left, and it's going to end up down deep. the bunker. <laughs> so again, I'm playing out of the bunker here. Uh, both par fives on the fronts. I uh, just... Couldn't get myself a good spot on the green with my third shot, and then I flubbed it out of the sand there. Maybe I can make this long putt? Oh, man. Just burning the edge today. Just burning the edge. So I make the turn. Um, I'm feeling kind of indifferent about the round so far. Um, seven over is not terrible for me, but it's also not great. I, obviously, you've seen it. I could have played a little bit better there on the front, made a few more putts, made a, less, a couple less mistakes. Um, hey, the guys turn around here. They're, yeah. not, they're playing on pace. <laughs> <laughs> Can you speed them up? We want to be 30% above pace. So my playing partner and I were laughing because the guys behind me were complaining about me recording. And uh, the marshal came out and uh, he was like, uh, guys, they're on pace. Uh, there's nothing we can do about it, so uh, we're just laughing about that. Now this one, great contact. Unfortunately, we'll there's see. water where that ended okay, up. Here we go. 
and wedge here wizard. we are. So I had wedge to take a drop and see if the wedge wizard can throw this in um, and make it work for me. I wasn't going to leave it short, so I got it there. Um, here's my bogey putt. Again, way longer than you would like to see on a par 5. <laughs> Nobody likes to make more than par on a par 5, um, especially not double, uh, I mean triple bogey. Yikes. So i got to turn around here. That was a snowman on a par 5, so 10 over now through 10. And that one just tails off on me. Unfortunately, it gets a bad kick off the hill right, and I end up here. Yikes. Now, Dollar Dollar Will, y'all, actually joined us here and became my cameraman at this point. So, we're going to get different angles. Look at that shot, though. Man, that was good. Uh, maybe a little too much juice, but from back there, I'll, I'm happy with that. So, we get this little chip here, which is decent. Um, you know, I'm not a, the greatest with chipping. You've seen the channel enough, so I'm setting over this uh, bogey putt here. Oh, double-double oh, start. Delicious. No, triple-double, my friend. Don't sell yourself short. Anyways, that's a terrible feeling. Five over through two. You guys know that feeling. You've been there. So, uh, I'm falling apart right now. I'm not feeling great. I hit my drive here into the bunker. Coming out. Sit. Just sit, please. Dollar double, y'all. Hold the camera still, please. Thank you. This one is a great shot. I was very happy with this one. Give myself a putt for par and definitely a good look at it. Um, now this is one of those, you know, three or four footers that will move. So I was really not happy to hit that. And as you'll see, just barely snuck that one in. So I'm happy with that. This one is a short par four. I hammered this one. Um, ends up in the middle of the fairway. That is optimal drive. The the drive here is kind of intimidating because it's a, a needle um, look to it where they've got trees at the, on the tee box. So it's definitely a little intimidating. And it must have intimidated me to the point where I hit that second shot into the water. So I take a drop. Here is my fourth shot. That's solid. I, I cannot complain about that. Get the ball on the green. Give yourself a look. Sure, it may not be as short as we would like, but it is a short. It is a bogey putt. Hey, every now and then you may make it. Where's the kaka, you f? That's no birdie. Will wanted me to throw up a kaka, but that was a bogey. I can't do that. Uh, this one was a crank yanker into the left. You see the cars coming on. But luckily I hit it far enough that that was not a problem. So I took a gapper, and you know what I did with that. Hell yeah. It's on the green. We gotta look. We gotta look at a bird. A caca. I missed the one on the front, so let's make this one. I had this one going right to left, and as you see, it just kind of straightened out. Maybe at the end it did, but I think I was tricked when I was reading the green. Beyond the flag, it moved right to left, but in front of it, not so much. This one's a tricky par three. Um, the green is green bean shaped, so it's very narrow looking at it. Um, so I just missed it out to the right. And I had a chance to just get it up and in. But, you know, me, I can't do that. So I hit a wedge shot that just kept running out on me. Um, ended up on the fringe. You can see I set up way left thinking this was going to just curve hard on me. And it just really never did. So that was a poor read on my part. Um, so, you know, just walk off the green and take my lost strokes there, unfortunately. This ball was hammered. This got me on track, put me in the middle of the fairway, turning around for these last three holes. It was awesome, wasn't it, Aaron? <laughs> so I hit this one here, my uh, second shot, approach shot to the green. And again, the ball just wasn't flying for me today. Um, fell a little bit short, so I'm taking the Texas wedge again. I don't know. It must be four or five times today I had to do that. I'm very happy with that putt. That was a great putt. Uh, I'm not very happy with this putt. Yeah, that just cannot happen. Wow, that sucked. <laughs> exactly. That just cannot happen. 
Um, just that, and then from there on out, I'm just hurting. I'm struggling. I'm limping in. So 17, I hit gapper. Of course, it was right at the flag. It's the gapper. Yep, it's the gapper, no doubt. Problem is, I hit it too good. So I had to to wedge it off the green to here, and just make the putt for par. Um, easy does it. Set it up. Do your job. You know what to do. Wow, that's oh. dope. No, never mind. Take the bogey and run. All right, so here's our finishing hole. Um, I hit a great drive here. This one ends up a little bit right, though. Um, Will doesn't quite catch it in the in the shot, and that's okay. Um, it's par five. So again, both both nines. You start with a par five and you end with a par five, which is kind of cool. It gives you that last opportunity to get a stroke back. So I hit the gapper, uh, put myself back in good position here. There you go. He Will. says there's a little gap right there, folks. We're gonna wait and see. Will is doubting me here, and I don't know why. Oh, it's probably because I hit it right into the trees there. But it ended up pin high. Yeah. Pin high. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're looking for, Will. Okay? So anyways, I hit it off this uh, overseeded ryegrass here. Get myself onto the green. Hopefully I'll look for par. Uh, make that and walk off. Not quite today. All right, guys, that about wraps it up here. Um, not my best round of golf, not my worst. Had some good shots, had some bad shots. I even hold out there from off the green uh, back on the front. That was pretty awesome. So, again, if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave us a comment. Thanks for watching, and next time I'll see you on the fringe.